Ladies and gentlemen from the media, this is a very sad day. Sad in the sense that we are now talking from the General Hospital of Kakamega, something which is not reserved for political activities, which is not reserved for PR issues. I want to apologize if anybody will be offended for one or two remarks that we might make outside the core business of this institution, which is preserving the health of our people and our communities. I want to send my sincere <coughs> call to the families of the 246 children who by yesterday I want to send a further pole to the additional 20 that have now been struck again today. Even more, I want to say, Pole, to those families whose 16 children were admitted here, two who have since been discharged, and 14 who are still in the hospital. There are two others who are in Lumino Hospital, and there are 13 others in Mukumu Hospital. So the problem is big. I'm not here to talk about the details of the diagnosis and the details of the management of that problem as far as the patients who are in the hospital are concerned and leave that to the hospital management, medical superintendent and the administrator. However, having visited the hospitals where these children are and having visited the school, <coughs> including talking to the principal the chairman of the board, visiting the kitchen, visiting where the children sleep, I have the following to say. That four days after this problem struck, it is not yet under control. Because on day four, which is today, we have had new, fresh cases, 20. 20 is not just a number. Those are actual children. It's not acceptable. Number two, I've been in the ward and the children in the ward are actually very unwell. In fact, one of them is awaiting for bed space in the intensive care unit. So, we should as a leadership of this county talk about the way forward. The way forward is a I'm immediately consulting the <coughs> County Director of Education to appreciate that the principal of Mukumu Girls, the teachers of Mukumu Girls, were not deployed there to preside over patients. They were not deployed there to monitor issues of public health. And therefore, because of the 246 cases involved, and the fact that four days after we still have fresh cases coming up, it means they must be assisted. They are unable. Therefore, I'd be asking the people in the county office for education that we allow all the children in Mukumu Girls to go home and stay at home for as many days as it will take to bring the situation under control because we, whatever active process that is causing these children to come down is still ongoing and nothing has been done about it. I've gone to the kitchen there, I'm completely dissatisfied. The principal should be given time to organize that kitchen and organize not the, the, kitchen, the kitchen but the entire food chain. That's one. Two, I want to visit the governor of Kakamega and tell him he has to be on top of things. We've been in the ward embarrassed that a child has been waiting for a CT scan for over 24 hours. Reason, payment, things, and so on and so forth. It's very unfortunate. 
we had deposited, we had chosen to deposit money at the city scan place. Now they are remembering belatedly that actually children are covered for. And you all know members of the media that all our children in school are covered for. They should not have expected any money uh, from the parents. Finally, on this issue, I have held held discussions with people in the hospital, the staff, people who have brought their patients here, and the other stakeholders in the hospital. And they are telling me we have major challenges in this hospital, including lack of gloves, including lack of medications, and that sometimes even at night, patients are asked to go to buy those things from the town center, which sometimes is usually at that time closed. Two things I ask of Baraza. Governor, we agreed, you and I, in your office, that we want to move away from the bad old days of Oparanya, whereby focus should not be on brick and mortar in hospitals. <clears throat> we agreed that focus should be on service delivery. We agreed. Service delivery, Governor Baraza, means availability of adequate staff, adequate laboratory services, adequate radiological services, and adequate medication. So, you are running away from my agreement with you. And as the chief of oversight in this county, I will not allow you to backtrack. Patients must get hospitals in this hospital. You have no excuse. Just a few weeks ago, I brought you a whooping 897 million shillings from conditional grant that was supposed to help you to take care of this problem. I saw you running around the issuing Panadols worth two million or whatever it is in the sub-county hospitals. This is the mother of treatment in the county of Kakamega. We will not allow you. You're my best friend, but on this one, uh, let's not meet in funerals over the death of these parents. <coughs> instead of us <coughs> meeting here and reminding each other that you do your work, I am doing mine. Lastly, Baraza. You must employ staff. What is the big deal? I am in this hospital, a nurse has told me a ward of critical patients, patients who are dehydrated, patients who require that the vital signs are monitored on a very regular basis, she is alone because there's no staff. Hire staff. I would excuse you if you sucked all the Ascaris who salute for you and instead reserved that money for hiring medical people. Why do you want to be saluted by young people in uniform when that salary can be used to employ nurses? And this is how Oparanya dragged me into becoming a, wanting to become a governor. You people, you are the ones who dragged me to come and do the job myself. If you do the job, I'm not interested in being a governor. But if you fail to do it, I'll come and do it myself. In fact, I'm the best governor to run the medical infrastructure in this county because I'm disciplined in the medical profession. It's not a laughing matter. Finally, but not least, I want to thank the Governor of Kakamega, MCS, and the members of Parliament from Kakamega, majority of whom 